Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm not even gonna go there with y'all with the what I've been up to and where I've been whole scenario. It's been four years so it's been a lot going on but I'm gonna just dive right into this video. We'll definitely catch up later on throughout you know um different videos and things that I upload but for right now I'm actually getting ready to do a what's in my bag and a review on the Louis Vuitton Nolita so if you're interested please stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I guess I first want to start off and say, please excuse the adjusting uh, differences in my lighting throughout this video, but this video is actually a review slash what's in my bag on the Louis Vuitton Nolita, and this is the bag, and it is in the Damier of being print. Um, now there is not a lot of videos on this YouTube on this uh, on YouTube in regards to this bag. I've actually had my eye on this bag for over a year, and when I first uh, started having interest in it. Um, there were no videos and then when I got closer to getting the, the bag which was a graduation gift and was deciding that okay this is the bag that I want um, I found two videos by the same youtuber and her name is Style by Casanova hey girl and I actually follow her on uh, Instagram and um, she's the only one with a uh, video that I have found featuring this bag. So I decided to do a little contribution to the YouTube and uh, do another, just give you guys a different view, a different, um, I guess, take on this bag. So we're going to just get right into it. This item was purchased off of Tradesy in like new condition, and I have to say it came in impeccable condition. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. It came with all the tags. It came with the lock and key, the original dust bag. There was no issues with the canvas. There was no tarnishing or scratching of the hardware. It was in A1 condition, okay? The reason I purchased this bag is because it is a structured bag and it looks amazing and keeps its shape no matter whether it's stuffed um, and put on my shelf filled with the contents of my, you know, bag everyday carry all or whether it is completely empty. It keeps this shape. It keeps that structured shape. Um, so yeah so we'll just get right into it like there is Louis Vuitton uh, a leather strip on both sides of the bag and it has Louis Vuitton um, embossed in the leather but on one side the strip is actually a pocket that has the red interior lining it's a slimline pocket so it doesn't have a lot of give um, you don't want to stuff it and stretch out the uh, you know stretch it out or anything um, but it is long it's pretty deep I can fit my iPhone 6 plus in here which is usually uh, I only have two items in this pocket at any given time and that is my phone and my uh, ID card my ID card holder my card holder and this is the Kate Spade card holder so those are really the only two things I ever need to like be able to have access to while I'm in my car okay so just for some additional specs on the bag um, I'm sorry it's all open and everything um, it has um, no feet at the bottom so it doesn't have any feet or anything like at the bottom it does have two zippers and the zippers come all the way down they come all the way down on, on both sides so you get a lot of room to open it up you know it has these things on the side of them I can't remember what they're called but basically they keep your you know stuff from toppling out of your bag um, when you open it I haven't filtered this bag or organized this bag or anything before I did this video so yeah I'm not clearly not doing so well with all of that but I don't think I have anything in here embarrassing that might you know get exposed so I'm just gonna dive right into the center um, and start from there Okay, so the first thing that is on top in my bags are books. These two books that I'm reading right now. This one is actually called God, Where Is My Boaz? Um, and this one is called, uh, how, uh, what is it? When God Writes Your Love Story. And I'm reading these basically just to, you know, for spiritual growth. Um, as well as because I'm single. I've been single for about two years yeah, two years now, and I've been divorced for five, and it's just very hard to keep from, I guess the word is conforming to the way things are now, trying to date in this generation and in this day and time, trying to keep your head about 
your morals and still keeping in mind your Christian principles and Christian values and um, just not giving in to the way things are and settling and um, and dealing with the whole Netflix and chill and, you know, guys not want to take you on dates anymore and finding yourself a victim of just conformity. Remember that I don't have to lower my standards. I don't have to lower my own value and self-worth just to get a date. Okay, so the next thing I have in here are, of course, receipts. I mean, where would I be without receipts? This is a shopper's food receipt, you know, grocery store receipt for $10. This is my Walmart receipt. That's a bit much. I call Walmart the $100 store because I never can go in Walmart, even when I have the intention of going in Walmart to get just a couple of items. I can never go in there and spend less than $100. Another receipt for... I know uh, what is this bonefish grill and this is from when I took my co-worker out to lunch okay I have this bag and this if you guys are I'm pretty sure those of you who are ipsy obsessed or subscribers to ipsy know that this is an ipsy bag I am not a subscriber to ipsy and I like hounds too for some reason so what did I do I went to eBay I actually use it to store my uh devices for my cell phone so like for example this holds my headphones in it um, my cord my adapter so this is the car charger adapter and then I have the wall adapter and then I have wipes for my screen so that's been doing me really really well have an umbrella which is of course self-explanatory I have a, a weekly planner which I use as just a quick reference you know, so that that's that I have uh, the Louis Vuitton monogram and Rose Ballerine six key ring holder. Um, this is also a Tracy item. Um, and of course it has the Rose Ballerine color on the inside and it holds my keys and everything. I do use this back pocket here to hold my registration, my AAA card, my car insurance card. So everything I need to operate a, a vehicle and actually be able to legally go out here and drive, I have at my fingertips with just this one thing so i thought i would never in a million years ever own one of these i was like who in the world would pay money for a key ring holder like what is wrong with you throwing your keys in your purse but then i go back and look at my purses and i'm like oh yeah i get it so yeah okay next thing i have in here is the let me get this right louis vuitton vernie zippy coin pouch in rose valerine again this is another tradesy item but this is actually pre-loved um it wasn't brand new um it came in great condition though the only um i guess flaws it had was that there was some discoloration in the bottom of it because of where you put your coins and coins of course are dirty i don't use this for my coins i'll actually show you guys what i use i don't use this for my coins because i don't need it to be heavy and weighing down my purse Okay, so the next thing I have is this Celine sunglass case, and in it I have the shadow, I think they're called, sunglasses where it has the black at the top, the tortoise at the bottom. Yep, and I, okay, so let me give you a little 411 on these glasses. Now, this is an authentic Louis Vuitton, I mean Louis Vuitton, an authentic Celine sunglass case. I actually got it from a girlfriend of mine who owns some authentic Celine sunglasses, but she does not like the soft case. But these sunglasses I actually purchased from eBay for like $14, free shipping, yeah. Um, okay, another thing that's in here, and actually the last thing that's in here as far as in the big part of my bag is my Michael Kors cosmetic case or cosmetic pouch, whatever you want to call it. So there is a small little pocket back in the back, and but in there I just had the cards and things that came with the bag. I came with the case. I have my e.l.f. Uh, blotting sheets because I have the most oiliest skin in the world. And then I have some tea, which is vanilla chai tea by Bigelow. Um, in the open part, the big open part, I have some hand food, which um, is the uh, Soap and Glory hand food in Sugar Crush. I have my Viva La Juicy, uh, Juicy Couture roll-on. Oh, I have, what else do I have in here? 
Oh, I have some Beano Dairy Defense Chewables because I'm lactose intolerant. I have a EOS ball. I have some Alka-Seltzer. I have some chewable uh, Pepto-Bismol. So clearly I have issues with my stomach if you haven't been able to tell. I have some lipsticks, some lip gloss, a lip liner, and I have this compact, which I want to show y'all because I get compliments every time I pull this thing out of my purse. People are always like, oh my God, that's so cute. Another eBay purchase, yes, I think it was like six or seven dollars, free shipping, came quick. It's a double-sided mirror, but you push this button and it has LED lights. Okay, so here now it's empty in the middle, everything's out of there, so you can see the spacing, you can see how much space you have, you can see the coloring. Um, there is on this side, you have a long zipper pocket and you have a D ring, um, in the zipper pocket pocket. All that, that I have in there are the paperwork, like the cards and things that come with your Louis Vuitton bag. That's the only thing I have in there. And then I have two checkbooks in there and then I have a pen in there. Yes. I'm one of those people who carry around a checkbook because if I'm out with you or when, you know, when I'm out with my girlfriends or my mom or my sisters or something like that, and you know how you like owe them money because either they bought something for you or something gets put all in one bill so that person's like, I'll pay for it, you just give me money back. Yeah, I'm the type of I'll write you a check. And my mom's always teasing me because if you're a 70s or 80s baby and you know about that movie, um, Adventures in Babysitting, and it's basically the girl is babysitting these kids and she has to take them out with her in the night to go rescue her best friend who's decided she's gonna run away from home and she's trapped at some uh bus station because she chickens out and the girl at the bus station is sitting there with a check and she has a check that somebody wrote her because she they owed her money and so she's trying to negotiate with all these people so that she could get what she needs for example she's hungry right so she goes to this vendor and she's like look i'll sign this check over to you if you give me a hot dog your hot dog's two bucks the check is ten bucks so you make a profit so it's funny because that's what my mom always says about me she's like oh well, you just like that lady on that movie you always run around here with checks trying to get people checks so anyway yeah i guess i guess she had to see the movie um, but anyway, um, <laughs> so that's all that's in the zipper pocket. Okay, now on my D-ring, I do have something attached, and that is the Louis Vuitton key clay. Hold on. The Louis Vuitton key clay. Okay, if you don't understand what that means, Louis Vuitton, this is not an authentic Louis Vuitton key clay. Now, I know you're probably like, well, why? I mean, I know you're like, why did you get a um, replica or a fake one, And but yet you have everything else authentic? Well, rem remember how I told you earlier that change is dirty and I don't carry my change in my Zippy coin pouch because of that? Um, this is where I store my change. I don't keep anything in here but my change. So I felt like, why am I going to spend $200 or even anywhere from $100 to $140 or $60 on a pre-loved version when it's just storing my change, dirty change. And I only got it in Louis Vuitton because everything else is Louis Vuitton. But other than that, I mean... It's for change. That's why I got it. And if I ever feel like, you know, hey, I want to use this for other purposes and really want something more durable, then maybe I will invest in the real deal. But for now, I don't think so. Okay, now onto this side. This side just has two pockets. One is small, and you know that's that one they call the cell phone pocket, which doesn't fit anybody's cell phone. And then you have a longer one here. So I'm gonna go into what I have. And the small little one, and that is just this little uh, velvet pouch that holds my USB uh, or flash drive, thumb drive thing. And then the other one, the longer one, it just has gum, which is my uh, Orbit Sweet Mint, the only gum I chew. Um, I have a pack of tissue because you always need tissue. Somebody always needs some tissue. Um, but that's it. So that is all that I have in this bag. That is it. It is empty. And as you can see, it still keeps that shape. And that's how I am. I'm somebody who, I like a bag that has, is so structured that where you can look at it from a mile away, it doesn't have to have monogram. It doesn't have to have the name plastered all over it. You can look at it from a mile away and know that that is a durable, quality, expensive bag. Like the other, the next bag I plan on purchasing is the Givenchy and Tagona, which of course has become the basic bitch bag. Everybody has it from, you know, every scale of life, but, um, it's, it's just one of those bags that are classic and just will always look good, will always be stylish, doesn't have to have any, you know, logos and things all over it. And you can look at it and tell it's, you know, a valuable, expensive quality item. So 
yeah, that's it. That's the end of my video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.